Hey horse lovers, welcome back to Free Spirit Equestrian. So we are at the Smoky Lane July sale and it is popping. I think this is the busiest I've ever seen it. It's an absolutely gorgeous day. And I have my students with me, Adeline and Alicia. So they're gonna be learning a little bit about auctions today. And it's your first auction, right? Yes. Yes! And we are representing Free Spirit Equestrian today. Also, I am looking to buy. Fingers crossed that I find something because it is my birthday month and I need a horse, right? No, we'll see what ends up happening. We're super excited. It's just a beautiful day. So the first thing we're gonna do is head out there and look at some horses. Let's go. So we're at the track right now and this is where we're gonna watch the horses and you know, see if there's anything we're interested in. We're gonna watch how they move, look how they respond to the environment, see how they're tracking, look at their confirmation, their demeanor and their overall just movement. This is a great place to scope out what you want. This little roan's cute. Number 68. So we're gonna have to go get a catalog and our number too. 68's cute. This one's cute. 61. Look at that chunky boy. Hey, cute. This one is cute. I like this little fast one. Yeah. We're already seeing some gorgeous horses here today. There are so many. Yeah, this is just a pretty horse. Sparkles. Oh, <laughs> so pretty. <laughs> Hi, Mama. That is absolutely. Oh, oh my gosh. The video doesn't do justice how small this horse is. <laughs> Got a little donk. Baby donkey, oh my gosh. Okay, that's a cute little pony. Red done. 146 is cute. Yeah, you have some. I'm looking at 138. Inside. I want to see inside. Oh, we're gonna go. Yeah, she's so pretty, but very nervous. What do you think so far? Crazy? A lot that of horses. one down there, a little scared. Right now, we're just watching at the track, and we're gonna go ahead and walk around inside. There's already a few that I have my eye on. I just need to see them move and I circled them in the catalog. Alicia is our scribe right now. <laughs> so let's go ahead in and check them out. It's pretty mare, it's pretty mare. Look at it, it's a spot, it's a mule. Oh my God. That is so pretty. Apparently 89 is really good. It's a little chunker pony, adorable. As we were browsing the sale, I came across this POA and Appaloosa that I was interested in. And no, it's not just because of color. I've always loved POAs and Appaloosas and I've owned many of them and they've been wonderful horses. So I'm just looking this horse over. The first thing I notice is that he is a little bit dropped in the fetlock. So you can see by his hoof, essentially where the horse's ankle would be he's dropped. So I don't really like that because it could be a sign of oncoming DSLD. If you don't know what that is, you can look it up. He did seem kind, but he also seemed a little bit, you know, not shut down, but not super expressive either. And he was very resistant to let me pick up his hoof. So that is a little bit of a red flag in my book, just in terms of auction and looking at his teeth, he's probably, you know, around 12 to 15 years old. So that's actually a great age. I love that age. 
but he's beautiful and he does have a kind eye and he was very nice about letting me check him over. So now I am looking at this Appaloosa. So his name is Gus. I did notice he had some rain rot on his hind end, but that's not obviously a deal breaker. It's easily treatable. And I'm just looking at his teeth. He seems to be around the same age. So probably between like 11 and 14 years old. He did let me pick up his legs. I felt all of them for heat or swelling. And I actually am very interested in him. However, he can look great at a standstill, but of course I would need to see him with the saddle off and obviously need to see him move under saddle to make sure he's sound, to see what his training is like, and then go from there. But what I like about him is that he has a very kind eye. He seems sweet, a nice build. He's not too big and not too small. Now I will pass on the little POA, but I am still interested in Gus. So we'll just have to see how it goes when he is out riding for those of you who are new i just want to say we are not picking these horses apart it is an auction it is risky so you have to take everything at face value so that is why i'm saying what i'm saying also connection is what's very important to me too and he did seem very sweet and cuddly such a kind beautiful boy <laughs> He's just a nice size. He's solid. He's pretty. He's sweet. He's quiet. I got to see him move though. Yes. Okay. I literally love him. He is so freaking cute. 145. We got to see him move though. Got to see how he responds. Exactly. I watch you all the time. Yay! You know what? This looks like my old horse, Duke of Westerton. Nice looking horse too. Is he looking? I think it's around 10. Okay, open the mouth again. Yes, yes, very pretty. I just don't love the shoulder and the top line. Um, this horse, based on the teeth, is around probably 13 to 15. So to me, I'm just not a fan of that, that confirmation. Beautiful, beautiful horse, though. That one, that's a nice looking horse. I really like him. He's well built, big, solid. What does it say? John, He's gorgeous. His hooves look all right. He's a little turned, twisted. He's a pretty boy. So many. Pretty. So what's this one's actual color, Alicia? Huh? Yeah. All these little ponies. Pretty blue eye over there. Oh, hi! <laughs> Look at you, little cutie baby. Pretty. Looks decent. Hi. Has a partial blue eye. You see, it's like half and half. Really pretty. You got a partial. Hi! Oh my gosh, look at the little pony in here. So cute. What color is that? We talked about it last night. I know, it's a hard one. Cremello. Yep. I like the eyes. Yeah, they're, they're so pretty. Couple babies. These are young yearlings. Little blue roans. He's like, I'm bored. Oh my god. Yes. That's a nice horse. Okay, look up 233. Yeah, that one's gorgeous. Like stunning. <laughs> and a big goofball. Big butt. I like big butts and I cannot lie. Yeah, broke to ride sore in the back. Okay, that's oh my god. You look in the zone here. You big baby. That horse is huge. I saw this horse and immediately, of course, thought they were absolutely 
beautiful and stunning but this horse is like huge 17 hands high like the video does not do justice why do i like everything organic We read the description and unfortunately this horse needs like a complete restart and that's not necessarily what I'm looking for right now, especially with this horse's size, to be honest. Needs a restart. I told you he's going to be a handful. love the back though it looks a little crusty in the neck too but super cute blue eyes you're so beautiful yeah you stop it right now little appy pony hi baby oh my gosh right yeah but gorgeous big dapple back there. It's going to go for a lot. Bye with the red shirt. I think this one's younger though. Big B. My goodness. You guys are stunning. Last thing I need, horse lovers. I cannot get a baby. But they have spots. <laughs> wow. What a beautiful pair. You just don't see that every day. The matching halter. I know, that's what's getting me. Good marketing there. What? The half leg is locked in. Oh, really? They're going to sell soon, that's why. Oh, what a sweet little mule. Oh my gosh, beautiful. There is quite a variety of horses at this sale today. I'm seeing anything from paints, Appaloosas, quarter horses, Frisians, draft horses, a bunch of different crossbreeds, and it's pretty refreshing to see that there's something for everyone essentially. And it is sometimes overwhelming when you go to a sale when there's so many horses because you do have to look them over really well, especially at an auction. This horse actually caught my eye, beautiful little roan, and it seemed like this horse was really sweet, put together well. And when I read the catalog afterwards, I realized that they were only two or three years old, so a little bit younger than what I'm currently looking for. But this horse is really nice. I mean, that's just a beautiful animal. the look of this horse but there's definitely either scratches or cpl going on i mean you can tell by the puffiness of the lower limbs another thing the ponies usually sell for good money here like thousands because they are well trained by amish kids which is pretty cool there is so much going on here today this is just such a good high energy sale there's a lot of variety everybody's been super nice and helpful and friendly so we're having a really good time Gonna check out what's in these stalls here. Pony. <laughs> We're cute. Yeah. A big boy, Alicia. 
I actually really liked this little pony and my thing is I used to purchase a ton of ponies and train them because I am a smaller adult but the thing is I don't have a lot of kids in my lesson program anymore like smaller kids or a ton of small adults so it just doesn't really make sense for me to purchase smaller ponies now but I just thought she was so cute I mean she's just a little chunky short-legged pony and I mean she's not the best mover in the world but she's super cute and she looks pretty safe just based on what I'm seeing I think any kid or adult would be lucky to have her. There is that beautiful horse again. So I had to just go up and ask like, hey, why is this horse, you know, a handful? Why do they need a lot of, you know, experience and need a restart? So on and so forth. So turns out I go up and talk to him and I talked to him for a long time and I completely mixed up the description. So they were talking more so about the dapple gray where this mare, so she is a mare, is actually pretty well broke. And once he was telling me more about her, he's like, do you want to just get on her? And normally I would never ride auction horses. Like, this is stupid. Please don't do this. And I don't have a helmet on. And I always, always, always wear my helmet. So you can give me grief. I'm an adult. I understand the risks, but don't do this. Putting that disclaimer aside, I was like, you know what? Sure, why not? Let me get on her and try her because now I'm super interested. She's beautiful, she's big, and she's kind. It's her her connection, her personality. She was so sweet and personable. He talked to me forever, like I'm not kidding, which was super kind. He has a good reputation. So basically, I mean, she's been on a lot of trail rides. She's done some arena work. She walked track canners. She's a relatively safe horse. So I am just going to take her for a little bit of a spin. Now, she did come with the dapple gray, so she did want to gravitate towards him a little bit, but that's completely normal and makes total sense. The other thing is she's huge. She's like 17 hands high, which for me is really big. I've never owned a horse that's over 16.1. So she's a lot bigger than what I typically would buy. But at the same time, if a horse is quiet and, you know, they seem like they're going to be a good fit, I'm not going to completely rule that out just because they're a little bit on the larger side. So I instantly felt really good on her despite her size. And I wasn't intimidated or anything. Like I said, she just wanted to go back to the gray. But she was also listening really well, super respectful. And you could just tell she had a very gentle soul and nature about her. I was getting really, really excited. She definitely reminds me of Lumiere a little bit and her looks being a buckskin color and just her beautiful mane and tail and her size. So that would be kind of funny to have a female version a little bit of Mr. Lumiere. But she felt totally different than him. I mean, the fact that I could sit her trot being a large draft horse, draft cross, is pretty incredible because oftentimes they could have comfortable gates, but it's hard to sit them. I just felt like a princess on her. She's definitely a very special horse and I'm totally interested. So I'm talking to him even more about her.
Yeah. I'm liking how she's feeling so far. I like her gait, and this obviously is more of a busy environment, so she's being really good, all things considered. I have this magical ride on her in this connection and I roll up and about ready to get off her and then he's like oh yeah just to let you know she's pregnant too because remember I mixed up the description so I didn't read hers yet I just talked to him and then got on and oh my gosh I was like just jokingly mad at him I'm like why did you let me ride her and stuff and love her and now you tell me she's pregnant I cannot take that on horse lovers I've said this in so many videos I know a lot of you would be like oh that'd be a great opportunity she's beautiful and she is bred to a gypsy which is super cool but I can't I don't have enough space i already have two yearlings a lot of you know my reasoning but i literally as a responsible horse person cannot purposefully take that on oh my gosh i just want to cry she's so cool why apparently she would be due in march and they aren't 100 percent sure that she's pregnant but they did purposely breed her and they did get her checked and this person said she was pregnant so she most likely is i just i can't i cannot do that with what I do right now, it would be just not a smart decision, especially everything with Belle. But my goodness, she is a gorgeous mare and I did not end up purchasing her because of that. If she was not pregnant, I literally would have bid on her. And she ended up going for 9,000, which I think is a very fair and reasonable price. She is big, beautiful, pretty, kind, broke to ride, super sweet. And I really enjoyed her. This was super fun. <laughs> I was a little scared to get down. <laughs> okay, it wasn't as bad as I thought. Well, that was super fun. She's absolutely gorgeous, but I don't know. She's huge. She felt really good. How did I look up there? You went eye up. Eye <laughs> up. <laughs> don't ever get on auction horses, please. I always wear my helmet, but I just took the risk, okay? Just don't do that. Don't be stupid like me. Thank you. We're going to save you. Good thing you pointed that out. It literally just pulled from the halter when you said that. <laughs> we got you. We got you. Save the escape. <laughs> Pretty tail. This one has glitter too. You're so cute. That one's the cutest. Hi. Tired. Prices seem to be, I would say they're average. They're not super high. They're not low. We're just going to get lunch right now and then go look at more of the horses and check them out at the track. 235. Some pretty spots there. We got a pinto. I got them some water because it's so hot and I felt bad. You get some water? I know. Are you feeling? Got some muscle, but he's not 
Then I came across this bay. Now he is a four-year-old Frisian standard bred gelding. So he's a registered Frisian sport horse. I like that he does have papers on him. He just had an overall wholesome classic look. Beautiful bay, nice bone on him, good conformation, pretty head, and just seemed kind and quiet. So I am interested in him. I do want to see him move. Although I do really like Frisians and crosses, I do want something that's more of a flat mover versus a lot of the Frisian influence. So we'll just have to see how he goes under saddle. And he is young and a little more green, which is completely fine. But I just want to see how he goes. I want to see how he moves and that will give me my answer. Really cute. I actually like him a lot. Let's look him up. Now it's a lot of waiting because the horses I'm interested in, they're not coming up for a while. So it's a lot of hurry up and wait when it comes to sales, especially like larger ones. I think there's around 400 horses here today at Smoky Lane Stables. And this is definitely an auction I recommend. I know the owners, they're very kind and they do bring a lot of decent horses here and there's a lot of reputable sellers. And this is also a no kill auction, which is huge because then I feel like I'm supporting a sale that you know isn't selling to meat buyers, which is awesome. So. Great place to come. Everybody, like I said, is very friendly. The facility's nice. The horses look good. It's just nice to see compared to other sales. So the horses that I'm currently interested in would be that Bay Frisian Cross Gelding. I like that he's papered. That's cool. We'll have to see him move under saddle, see what he looks like. And then the Appaloosa, so Gus 145, I need to see him go under saddle. And then, oh man, that buckskin mare, she is just a dream, but I just don't know if that makes sense. And then the risk of her possibly being pregnant, which is a huge thing for me personally. So I don't know, we'll just have to see. I really want a horse this time, really bad. I did not just come here to look, I came here with a strong intent to buy, but I don't know. There's always going to be other opportunities, so we'll see. It's not out of the question yet. Here's the bay. He looks okay, but he definitely needs some work. Um, For a four-year-old and being in an auction environment, he looks really great. He has a nice canner. I mean, he really is a beautiful horse. Nothing's wrong with him. I don't know. It's just personal preference. I just don't think it's what I'm currently looking for. I don't even know how to necessarily explain it. Let me know what you think. I'm just curious what you think. I think he's a really beautiful boy. He'll make someone happy. He looks great in the canter. I didn't get it on video because my phone was dying and I had to put it in my car to charge. But anyways, the trot just looked different. It wasn't as great as the canter. And obviously, there's always room for improvement, but still. He looks good there, but earlier he was throwing his head up quite a bit, and I don't know, just needs a little more. You're so sweet. She was thirsty, and so I went and got her some water. You were thirsty, huh, mama? <laughs> you sweet girl. Oh, you're welcome, mama. You're welcome. He's a good girl. No problem. Oh, you like hugs? No problem. <laughs> this coat is not bleached. He's going to keep this color. He's going to be the five hundred, 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 five Unbelievable, 2019-5 years old at the pedigree of a blooper. Seventy-two hundred man, can we do that today? <laughs> Four, fifty, four, 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 four
You got 7,000 there. 7,000. Now 7, 8, 8, 7, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, $2,000, All right, horse lovers. Well, the horses that I looked at, I didn't end up liking. I didn't like how the Appaloosa moved, and I was pretty unsure about the bay horse, even though I thought he was gorgeous. But there were a lot of really nice horses at this sale. I'm so sad because I really wanted to buy this time. And I'm a bit bummed. Like, I have not bought a horse for four months, which for me is a pretty long time. But we're just going to keep trying, okay? So I don't want to rush the process. I want it to be the right horse. And we'll see what happens. But I hope you enjoyed coming along to the auction with us today. My students already headed back home to Michigan. We're in Ohio right now. Also, if you want to support Free Spirit Equestrian, you can order something off the Spirited Horse Boutique. Today, I'm wearing my Mustang Mob lipstick. This is actually some really old merch we have, so we're not selling it anymore. But I'm wearing my Barn Bum leggings as well. So that's a great way you can support us. I'll put the link in the comments and the description. All right, so that was another auction adventure. Adventure. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications so you don't miss anything Free Spirit Equestrian, any updates, or any more adventures. And I'll see you next time, horse lovers. Bye!